Hello and welcome to the short vort. Today we will wrap up uh, the last cycle of Shlishi to Ravi on the Zosu Bracha, where we read about the blessings from Moshe on his deathbed to Yosef, and this parallels very much the blessings of Yaakov on his deathbed to the tribe of Yosef to his son. Um, here we use the blessings of fertility in the land that they will have. Uh, the, the mega, the bounty from the Shemesh, from the crops that depend on the sun, the ones that depend on the moon. They'll have the uh, underground waters providing fertility, and they will also have the success of Bahor Shor Har that uh, his descendant, uh, Yeshua, will lead the Bnei Yisrael to success as they enter Eretz Yisrael. So now we turn to the beginning of Bereshis, where we will begin with uh, Ruvi, as we analyze between Ruvi and Hamishi. And here we have the story of uh, after the Bnei Adam, or mankind, Adam and Chava, are exiled from Gan Eden, uh, she gives birth and she has her first son. His name is Cain. She has another son which is described as uh, Echav and Hevel. And the question is why or how were these names decided to be Cain and Hevel? And why is it mentioned that he was a brother, Hevel, uh, it's the same parent, of course it's a brother. It seems to be redundant. So we answer this uh, based on the work of the Nitziv Natali Tzvi Yehuda Berlin in his Sefer Hamik Dabar, his commentary on the Chumash. And uh, the reason why Cain got his name was because he was blessed with a special ability to be Oved Adama, to work the land, and that's where he gave later on, he gave his korban from. That was his role, and he was very successful in that uh, role, and this was after the exile, where man, man, instead of being given easily food by God, they would have to work and toil, so this was a benefit for Adam and Chava, so that she saw the Hashkacha Pratis, Hashem's intervention, the connection, so she was Kona, she acquired a connection to God, and therefore she named him Kayan. So that's one reason why he, his name uh, was thus recorded. So then uh, he actually was someone who was able to provide not just for himself but for his parents and for his brothers and he did so. He's, man is different than an animal where an animal they don't have the same relationship in the family that one brother takes care of another brother animal as a general rule. Uh, there are some exceptions. Uh, but mankind, they typically, there is a familiar relationship and they help each other. And this was showing for the first time how Cain was helpful to his brothers and therefore it describes him as the language of Echab, to make that connection between the two of them. And because of this relationship that Cain was able to sustain everyone else through the produce of the land that he generated, then Hevel was able to be someone who was a shepherd of the own. He worked with the sheep. And that represents the luxuries, the wool, the, the fat, the milk, products that maybe were not necessarily as required uh, for mankind, and that was what his focus was. And as we learned uh, last Shabbos, we read in Kohelis that Shlomo Melch says that uh, these luxuries are havel havalim, they're vanities of vanities, they're not what we're supposed to be focused on. We're supposed to be able to focus on the, the, the core sustenance and not go for the, the extras in life. So therefore it's appropriate that since Hevel focused on these luxuries in life, that his name was in fact Hevel, regarding the vanity and the uh, the unnecessary part of this and the inappropriateness of that. So may we be Zoha to focus on, despite the tragic ending to the story, but focus on the beginning where we see that brothers and sisters, they take care of each other and we have the familiar relationship. If you have any comments, please send an email to devarman2 at ymail.com. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. Please feel to sign up on Facebook to subscribe to Devarman2 or the short vort on, on Facebook. And actually the other one is uh, for uh, YouTube is, the, is uh, Devarman2. So thank you for listening.